Now let's discuss very interesting communication mechanism within FreeRTOS – Direct to Task Notification. Direct to Task Notification is available within FreeRTOS from its version 8.2.0. Within CMC's IS, it is covered within version 1.0 as signals and in version 2 as thread flags. To use this mechanism within FreeRTOS, it is necessary to enable config use task notifications within FreeRTOS config.h file. It will add to each task control block two fields, 32-bit notification value and 8-bit notification state. Within the notification value, most significant bit is reserved so we have 31 bits to be used. As the notification data are stored within TCB of each task, it is not needed to create any separate operating system object. Thus, using this method is 35% faster and uses less RAM than unblocking a task with a binary semaphore, for example. We should be aware of some limitations of this method as well. It can be used to notify only one task at a time like in the name direct to task notification. Using this mechanism, once the task is waiting for some signals, it will be within blocked state, but a sending task cannot wait in a blocked state for send complete. It is just set the flag and continue execution. To use thread flags within CMC's OS v2, we need to enable config use task notifications in freeRTOS config.h file. Thread flags are used to send small portion of data, up to 24 bits, between tasks or threads or from IRQ to task. Single thread flag is defined as a bit. The maximum number of thread flags is defined within CMC's underscore OS.h file as OS feature underscore signals and is equal to 24. It is not possible to configure it from stm 32 cubemix nor stm 32 cube IDE. There is no function to create thread flags components, as those are components within task control block of each task. This is why once we start using task notification, we should take into account an extension of all TCB, so task control blocks, of the tasks in the system. To set specified flags within selected task thread, we need to use OS thread flags set function. It needs two arguments. A handler to the task where we would like to set the flags and the flags mask we would like to set there. In fact, those values are sent via this function will be ORed, so there would be the OR function done between the mask we would like to have and uh, existing one which is uh, present within selected task control block. This function returns flags after the setting operation. Please notice that we cannot clear the flags using osThreadFlagsSet function. There is a dedicated function called osThreadFlagsClear, which is using this function is uh, accepting only one argument. It is the mask of flags which needs to be cleared within the task control block of the task uh, from where we are calling this function. We can wait for specific mask of the flags using function osThreadFlags wait. This function needs three arguments. The first one is a mask of the flags so we are waiting for, then options, and the third one, the maximum delay. The task will wait, so it will be in blocked state, waiting for a specific mask of the flags. This function is always called by the task checking its own thread flags field within own task control block. So this function mustn't be called from the interrupt procedure. Let's spend a while on the second argument, options. It is coded on two bits and can be a combination of below values. If it's zero, so OS flag wait any, it would wait for any of the flags specified in wait function, so any set bit unlocks the function. So we will not wait for all of the bits from the mask, but any of them can unblock our task. Then OS flag wait all, which is codified as one, once this option is set, the function will wait for all of the flags specified in a wait condition. Then, if there is an uh, option OS flags no clear, which is coded as 2, there would be no clear operation of the flags after a successful execution of the function. 
so it can be reused later on and the flux would be kept on the state which is after this function execution. We can combine options together. So for example, OS flux no clear can be combined with OS flux wait any or with OS flux wait all. We can select uh, more than one options using the OR operation. Let's have a closer look at direct to task notification API functions. Within CMC's OS version 1, it has been called signals. Within CMC's OS version 2, which we are using at this session, it has been renamed to thread flags, as it is similar structure to event flags. With an original freer OS API, this mechanism is called task notification. Complete freer OS API for this is stored within task.h file. To use it, we need to define config use task notifications within freer config.h file. Thank you for watching this video.